Hello to everybody. <laughs> How are you guys? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Francisco Ramos. I'm from Venezuela. Thank you. Okay. Uh, just one more applause. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so I, and I moved here you know, when I was 13, so I had to learn English, you know, so that's why I still have an accent. But I know I have one. There's always that person that comes to me and points it out like I have no idea. You know, like the other day I was talking to this guy, he's like, hey Francisco, you know you have an accent? Really? <laughs> I did not notice that. <laughs> and thank you. I know, I'm not deaf, I can hear myself. Every day I hear myself. <laughs> and I used to live in Washington, D.C. before I moved here, you know. And I, in D.C. I was Venezuela. As soon as I moved to L.A., I became Mexican. <laughs> and I was like, how'd that happen? How come I keep saying, que pasa, wey? <laughs> but it's understandable because the majority of Latinos here are Mexicans, you know. It's easy to make the confusion. I do the same thing. Every time I see an Asian person, I go, Chinese! <laughs> Every time I see a guy working in Barnes and Nobles, I go, gay! <laughs> it's true. Every time you go, there's like, hi. <laughs> Welcome to Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> you want a small book or a big book? <laughs> I'll go online, thank you very much. Uh, it's it's kind of weird, me. Uh, <laughs> I like, I like, like I said, I had to learn English when I moved here. English is very hard because it's got so many different sounds, you know? So many words sound similar. Like w when I was growing up, I had trouble saying the word beach. Yeah. <laughs> and one time I had to do a presentation for school about Venezuela, you know? So I'm all happy, I'm all prepared, I think I'm gonna do good, you know? And I start, and I'm like, Venezuela is a very beautiful country. <laughs> it's got a lot of natural things. <laughs> Especially there are a lot of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> there are very big bitches in Venezuela. <laughs> but there are also very dirty bitches too. <laughs> I got suspended for three days. I was like, what happened? I came back and all the black dudes in my class were gone. I start to ask why. I was like, oh, they all went to Venezuela to find the bitch. <laughs> it's my only black joke, guys. Can only do one. I see. <laughs> and I love learning. I was watching the History Channel before I came here. They're having this big debate whether Jesus was black or white. I actually think Jesus is Latino. <laughs> Because first of all, his name is Jesus. <laughs> his dad was a carpenter. <laughs> and his mom got pregnant by not doing anything. <laughs> That's Latina, I'm sorry. It's like, Maria, what happened? I just touched you today. What they get pranked up by touching, guys, it's true. And they're tricky, they come to you like, hi, my name is Maria, hi, Maria, I'm not gonna touch you, you tricky, tricky Maria. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch you. No. By the way, that's if you wanna be in a telenovela, that's all you gotta do, say Maria and stare in the camera for five minutes. It's like, Maria. 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 Cut, that's a wrap, thank you very much. That's great. <laughs> and also, like I, like I move here, I also go to auditions, you know, and every time I go to an audition, I always get the same thing from the casting director. It's like, hey, you know what you look like? Ricky Morty. <laughs> you know, I used to get mad, but it was like, I was like, man, I should use this as my advantage. You know, so like the other day, I called this restaurant, I made a reservation, Ricky Morty plus one. Uh, <laughs> and when I get there, the guy's like, uh, you're not Ricky Morty. So I had to think quick, I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, come on! <laughs> the guy's like, why is Ricky Marty making reservations at the Olive Garden? <laughs> like, because Ricky Martin likes to live La Vida Loca. Come on! 
guy's like, dude, stop dancing. <laughs> I know you're not Ricky Martin, you know why? Because you're here with a girl. Is <laughs> a Ricky Martin fan club here? <laughs> I was with a girl, I don't know what that guy meant. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful ladies here, I gotta tell you that. All right, low self esteem girls. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, girls like my accent. I don't know why they do. They, you see, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know how to you know, but like, so every time I see a really hot girl, like a lot of girls here, I try to thick it up. You know, see if it works better. Like the other day, I was at this club and I see this really hot girl. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna introduce myself, you know. So I walk to her like I normally do, you know. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> My name is, uh, how do you say? <laughs> Francisco. <laughs> she was with a friend, she turned to her friend, she's like, oh my god, I think he's retarded. <laughs> That's my time, guys, my name is Francisco Ramos.